Hello friends, welcome back. It's that time of year again. Squirreling time. That's good to go, we're hooked up. Just need to have a ride down there now. And I should bring you along. Do not piss me off. Half choke. No choke. example of coppicing. Although well, this probably wasn't intentional, obviously. But this is what I plan on doing with our forest when we get it. It's supposed to work really good with birch. It grows so fast. But you basically cut the tree down at the base and then let it come back like this. This would have just been one tree. And then you get loads of new bits growing out and then you harvest them when they're this big and it's probably, you know, five, ten years maybe, I don't know maybe not even six, seven years but it's insane, this snow yeah, I'm going to take all of this lot here we got six stems coming out and they're all fairly thick so, Clear all of this crap off the bottom and then I'll get the chainsaw out. do it this way and let it come back like this the tree basically lives forever and you can keep harvesting it rather than like with the pine you can't do it with pine but once you cut them off that's it they're dead but stuff like birch and whatever this is I'm not even sure what this is they just keep coming back forever and if you manage it properly it's basically unlimited firewood Yeah. Uh -huh. 
we've got a system going with all this be able to use every part of the tree so even all this stuff I want to get a little wood chipper and then we can use it to add into compost so you're not wasting anything I knew this had come now. I made it when I was 14. I was like, one day that will have a use. And it's for limbing trees. I know I could do it with a chainsaw, but why waste petrol? Thursday afternoon. I've read that the trick with coffee in is take all of them. If you've got one lump of stems, you have to cut them all off and then it puts all its energy into making new ones. Otherwise, if you leave like one or two, the whole tree is going to focus on them and then nothing else is going to grow. do for this load or we'll be getting a bit too heavy. Chop these in half, get them on and off we go. Just as we come in now, five to five, and the solar has just turned off. Because that unit does a, a beep and the relay clicks off in it when the sun's gone. Ten to five. That's pretty good. It's coming back. It's still half light out there. Pretty much dark, but. Yeah, we ended up going for a ski after I'd finished unloading. Well, I, I 
I had an idea. I strapped a pallet to the back of the snowmobile on two ropes and then drove around our little track and it made it proper good. It was like a pieced um, thing at a ski slope. So went for a little spin on that. Um, but yeah, that wood that I got probably about a week's worth of firewood for next winter for two hours of effort plus half an hour of putting a track in if that 20 minutes so it's not bad really I'd say that's a pretty good trade time for heat a lot of people make the argument with things like this whatever it is or fixing things or whatever um, you know you could just buy it and then it's done instantly and it's the same with firewood in fact forget firewood altogether we could just have mains electric and electric heating just pay for it flick a button turn a dial instant heat but then you've got to spend you know two-thirds of your life working for somebody else to pay for the luxury of doing that when you could be out with a chainsaw on a snowmobile uh, doing it yourself that happened because I've added an extra bit on the lever on this chair and I just caught it with my foot need to get used to that so yeah I know what I would much sooner do with my time because at the end of the day in this case at least I get enjoyment out of doing it I get to play with fun toys and be out in the woods and just yeah it's good it's good fun I feel good at the end of the day when I do this stuff you don't feel good at the end of the day when you don't like your job very much <laughs> and you're coming home at six o'clock and you're knackered anyway uh, so firewood I was going to show you around outside but I have got a bit cold now oh that's why minus 20 so it's cooled down a bit yeah, it's indoors time now. Had enough. Uh, I need to do something with this. Quite like using this for limbing. The only downside with it is I didn't really know what I was doing when I made it. I tried to heat harden it, but I don't think I got it quite hot enough. So the blade isn't it's a bit soft. I've put a nice ding in it today. So it doesn't hold an edge for very long, but you know, I was, I was 14, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I did it in a barbecue with a fan, with a house fan, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, maybe I'll try and uh, do it again. I was just gonna put another handle on it because this is kind of terrible I was thinking to do a wooden handle because it kept slipping out my hands which is not ideal when you're flinging a massive knife around <laughs> so I think I need to make a fatter handle for it but if I might potentially heat harden it properly then maybe I'll wait 